Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, inshallah, to the Quran translation. Especially our topic today that we're reviewing is about Miriam, the mom of Jesus, peace be upon him. So, my brothers and sisters, do we know the name of Jesus, Grandpa's name? Jesus, peace be upon him, he and his mom is mentioned a lot in the Holy Quran. Also, the Grandpa, his name is Imran, is mentioned so many times too. Let's say I can say maybe seven times is mentioned uh, Imran. Allah wa Rasuluhu alim. But I'm assuming it's mentioned fewer than uh, Maryam and Isa alayhi salam. So this verse that I picked it up is from Surah number 66. The last verse. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us that the daughter of Imran, whose daughter of Imran is Mary, Maryam. This proves to us that Isa alayhi salam is one of the chosen family members and we already know that Allah mentioned it in surah number three the name of the surah number three itself is Imran and I also have for you inshallah a different translations which is well some of them they have less translation some of them they go little far so I put it all of them so you can compare and understand it Let's move forward. In Allah Hasta Adam wa Nuha wa Ala Ibrahima wa Ala Imran Ala Alameen. This verse tells us this is a chosen family. And I made little image which I want to pinpoint those three names that are mentioned as they are among the family of Imran. Let's review it. This is the family of Imran is one of the chosen families by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we just saw the verse saying in Allah astafa adama wa nuha wa ala ibrahim wa ala imran ala al alameen. The name of Jesus' grandpa is Imran. Clear, it is mentioned in the verse that we just looked at it. And mom of Jesus, Mary, Maryam, is the daughter of Imran. So, Prophet Isa, Jesus, is the son of Miriam. This proves to us that this is one family that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen. Going back to the verse. So, let's go back, inshallah, translate this verse. In Allah astafa adama wa nuhan wa ala ibrahima wa ala imrana ala alameen. In Allah astafa, indeed Allah has chosen. Has Chosen Adam, Noah, and the family of Ibrahim, and the family of Imran, over the worlds, over the other people. This is mentioned in Surah number 3, verses 33. Surah Al-Imran, the name of the whole Surah is named by the grandpa of Jesus, peace be upon him. So, Zurriyata. The descendant. Some of them from others. Allah is hearing and the knowing. This is mentioned in Surah number 3, verse number 34. We're also learning again the first verse which I mentioned it which is quoted from the Holy Quran chapter 66 verse 12 which is the last verse of the whole surah surah at tahrim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa maryam banata imran allati ahsanat farajaha fanafakhna fiha fanafakhna fihi min ruhina wa saddaqat bi kalimati rabbiha wa kutubihi wa kanat min al-qanitin so my press let's look at the translation he has also told as an example the story of maryam the story of mary 
the daughter of Imran, who preserved her virginity. This means that she has avoided getting in, involving marriage or any other wrongdoing. So she protected that private part. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned it to praise her that she was a protected person. To whose womb we breathe our spirit. This shows us that Jesus, peace be upon him, had no father. As this is mentioned in the Holy Quran, this chapter, verse number 12. She made the words of her law. In the previous translation, the, that Sheikh has translated this part of the verse. Look at this. She has testified to the truth of the words of her Lord. In believing the words of Allah, be, and he was. Allah created Jesus peace be upon him by just the same be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not hard for him to do anything. Son of Mary. Maryam. As a messenger of Allah, what she believed was the truth that she believed was the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala message through the Prophet Isa, peace be upon him. وكانت وكتبه and also believed in his scripture so she has believed her own son as a prophet pr proven she was uh-huh the qanitin obedient to allah quran 66 verse 12 and the translation is by sheikh hilal and khan going back to the previous verse the same translation, the same verse is translated by another sheikh. This Sahih National, International. Look at this. And the example of Maryam, the daughter of Imran, who girded her. Chesty. Okay, so we blow into her garment through our angel, and this angel is uh, Angel Jibrail alayhi salam, as is mentioned. So he says, "Peace be upon him, had no father." And Allah subhanahu wa taala saying that he has sent a prophet to do the the job. So we are to believe that truth, not to deny. And anyone who tells you that something, this, this, blah, 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 you've got to say, prove it to me, show me, color code me, pinpoint, word to word. Know the truth instead of taking falsehood. And she believed in the words of her Lord. His scripture. And she also believed. His scripture. وَكَانَتْ مِنَ الْقَانِتِينَ And was the devotedly obedient servant of Allah. Going back to different verse, inshallah. So we have got to know that Imran is the father of Maryam, peace. And what else I'm about to say here is Maryam is the daughter of Imran. Just, I want to clear that part and she also believed the book of Jesus peace be upon him <clears throat> and this show this verse I already gone through in Allah Hustafa Adama that Allah has chosen this family and Imran is one of the family members that is chosen so the next part you might say it is a some people they don't even believe that Jesus peace be upon him is created as Adam. Which creation of them was harder? To create Isa, Jesus, or to create Adam, the first human being? And Allah quoting this in Surah number 3, verse number 59. 
إن مثل عيسى عند الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. خلقه من تراب. He created him from dust, from clay. ثم قال له كن فيكون. Then he said to him, be. فيكون. And he was. Very easy for Allah to do anything. We are to believe that. Come next verse. In the same surah, surah number 3, verse 59 and verse 60, they are together. And Allah, when he mentioned it, that the creation of Adam and Isa, they were same to same. Allah is saying what? Al-haq min rabbik. The truth is from your Lord. فَلَا تَكُنْ مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ فَلَا تَكُنْ So do not be مِنَ الْمُمْتَرِينَ Among the doubters. Do not be someone who doubts and hesitates from taking the truth, from taking the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, next topic that I have is, as it is mentioned in surah number 19, has Jesus mentioned that he is a slave of Allah? He is servant of Allah. Yes, it happened. When? She came carrying the child to her family to the village and they asked her a question. The question was, Ya ukhta Harun, O the sister of Harun, Ma kana abuki mra'a sawi wa ma kana um, ma kanat ummuki baghiya. O the sister of Harun, your father was not a bad person. Your mom was not a prostitute. فأشارت إليه. She has not spoken with the people, but she pinpoint she pointed a child on her back. And they said, قالوا كيف نكلم من كان في المهدي الصبية? How will we speak with someone who is a baby? And the child, Jesus peace be upon him, spoken with them. What did he say? قال إني عبد الله آتاني الكتاب وجعلني نبيا. Jesus said, indeed, I am servants of, a servant of Allah, the servant of Allah. It shows us that he himself admitting that he is servant of Allah, he is a slave of Allah, and you making him son of God, that is something really we need to correct from all our brothers and sisters and take the truth. If you take the wrong message, well, that is your own problem, but there is the truth proven in the Holy Quran. أتاني الكتاب and he has given me the scripture the scripture which is, even his mom believed we as a Muslim we are required to believe the scriptures of the previous prophets like Tawrat, Injil, Isa Injil, Isa, Tawrat, Musa, Zabur, Dawood and Suhf Ibrahim and Furqan, Nabi Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which is the Holy Quran those five books, we are to believe them. We cannot re reject them or deny them. أَتَانِيَ <clears> الْكِتَابِ <throat> And made me a prophet. وَجَعْلَنِي نَبِيَّ And made me a prophet. Going back to this, had Jesus, peace be upon him, admitted that he is servant of Allah. Yes, here. Surah number 19, verse 30. Don't miss the point. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومريم بنة عمران التي أحصنت فرجها فنفخنا فيه من روحنا وصدقت بكلمات ربها وكتبه وكانت من القانطين وكانت من القانطين visit and subscribe my youtube channel nr 6767 Get more video lessons same as this ones. Salah, Dua, Quran, Translation, Understand Quran, Word by Word, with color coded. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah khairan. This is my YouTube channel, NUR 676767, and you will get to know more about the Deen of Allah with translation, color coded, and pinpointed. I have so many topics that you might enjoy learning them, inshallah, especially for someone who wants to learn the Arabic through the Quran. Here is the topics that you might like them, inshallah. Subscribe and share with the friends and family members. Ma'a salama.
جزاكم الله الجنه